Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my video. Today is a makeup video. A short and sweet how I'm doing my makeup these days. This is it. It's pretty basic. It's natural. It's a little bit of fun with color on the lids, which I'm not often very adventurous. Uh, not even that this is adventurous. This is like a coppery eye, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I like it. I've switched up the brows. I'm using a new lip. So stick around and uh, let's, let's get ready together. Cool. Okay, so we are going to get started on the makeup. Just a short and sweet, this is how I would do my makeup right now because I feel like I change it just a little bit here and there. Also, there are children home because it is spring break. And I do have to take a few photos for Instagram, a couple of work photos. And so I'm like, okay, well, let's freshen this face up. Because I've been running around, running a few errands, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this witch hazel uh, onto a cleansing pad and just give my face a once over. I did wash it this morning, but you know, I've been running around and there's just grime from the day. Just from the day. Because I'm just sticking around the house, literally taking photos inside and it is late in the day, I'm not too worried about SPF right now. All right, I'm gonna take this, which is Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And actually I'm coming down to the bottom of it. So I've quite enjoyed it. It's a very nice, light texture. Just take a pump of that. And it's very nice and light and just kind of blends into the skin easily. Occasionally I switch up the application, like how I actually like to put on my makeup. Um, I'm coming to the end of this guy, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. It is looking like there's just makeup all over it. Um, and then I'm gonna take an expert face brush from Real Techniques and just, let's just do this. Oh, and the color I use is Intensity 2.0. My skin is a little bit flaky because I've just started using, um, is it my retinol, is that what it's called? I've just updated my skincare a little bit or actually just got back on doing my skincare. So my face is a little bit like, what are you doing? Uh, but it needs, it needs to exfoliate. So don't look too close. Also Estee Lauder, double wear, stay in place. Flawless wear concealer in 2C light medium. I'm just gonna go under the eyes and nose and I think that is oh in the spot here that's pretty much it for blemishes and this is quite true to how when I really am trying to go quick I mean a clean hand my hands are nice and clean to just blend in the concealer is gold I'm going to be using this Rimmel translucent powder this is insta fix and matte um, yeah it. Just kind of, instead of using like a colored powder on top, I feel like sometimes it's too heavy, honestly. Oh, my makeup is so dirty. Don't look too close. This is Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Very fun and sparkly. And I take a big fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. Just kind of get in there and I just go around, you know, where I want a little like where the sun would hit your face. And I find that this adds a nice color to the skin. It is a little bit shiny, and I know not, not everybody loves a shiny bronzer, but I do. I want to sparkle from space. Here, I am so fair. I need to get, I need to get started on my uh, sunless tanner, especially because I'm going away in less than two weeks. <laughs> so excited, okay, good enough. Hopefully the light is doing it some justice. I want to have a little bit of a flush to the face. The eyebrow game, I have switched slightly. I'm using Benefit's Gimme Brow, and this is in 4.5, which I think is quite dark. I had bought this when my hair was still, still a nice dark brunette. But you know I love me a strong brow, and I feel like this is actually enough. Because I've lightened my hair, if I take the Anastasia Brow Wiz and add this on top, it's a little too heavy. And so I've just been going for this nice, natural brow. Sisters, not twins, you know the drill. Um, next, pretty simple on the eyes. Oh yeah, so I've been using this Tartelette, uh, Tartelette in Bloom Amazonian Clay 
palette. And this is from Tarte. Hello. Tarte. Hello. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay. Um, I try to step outside the lines a little bit. So the colors I'm going to be using, I'll tell you, are um, Smarty Pants, Firecracker, and Activist. So like these three. Boom, boom, boom. So lid, uh, outer corner of the lid and to line the lid. Taking a somewhat flat kind of brush, I think this is also from Crown. I'm gonna take Smarty Pants, which is like that matte um, base color. I, I do find that this falls quite heavily, so this is necessary under the eye. Unless you do your eyes first, which would be smart. And I just start patting all over the eye. That is actually why you should start with your eyes, but you know, can I honestly tell you, I, I have to time forget that. <laughs> and I get started and I'm like, ah, oh, should've started with my eyes. In this one, I'm gonna take the Firecracker, which is like a coppery, frosty, shimmery. Shimmery, is that the right word? And this one, I kind of go outer corner here. Basically just trying to add a little dimension, a little bit under the eye too. A nice fluffy, just a fluffy blending brush. So make sure there's nothing, my, my brushes need a little bit of a wash. So just kind of, just sort of blend that in, soften the, the lines a little bit. Now I'm gonna take this one, which is an angled, um, an angled brush, just a fine little brush, dip it in that activist, which is the dark brown. And this one has a lot of staying power, which I learned the hard way. I'm just gonna give myself just a little definition along the lash line. And then I'm just going to take that nice, uh, the, the brush that I used with Firecracker and just kind of blend it all in again. Just taking another brush, um, I'm gonna take Charmer, which is this nice light one on top. And just go um, just under the, you know, just a top, under the brow. I'm also gonna take Tarte uh, Party, P-A-A-R-T-Y, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush which is a nice soft pink. Real Techniques blush brush and get that in there. I always hit the tops of the cheeks because, well, I'm not 22 anymore. <laughs> if you do just apples of the cheeks, it's gonna fall too low. So, final three steps. Eyelash curler and uh, I guess I am Estee Lauder like crazy right now. Sumptuous Extreme Lash the multiplying mascara, this is in black. So let's just do a little curl curl. All right, eyes done. Last but not least, I'm gonna take this is the Lip Maximizer from Dior. Recently bought this, recently bought it, I bought it. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Plumper, I freaking love it. Every time I wear it and when I'm driving in the car and it's sunny and I catch my reflection and I see the sun glistening off my lips, I'm just like, girl, like it is pretty. What's this color? Zero one two? I don't know, it's one of the lighter ones. I tend to be, I'm drawn to like this nude, violety kind of rose color. All of the things I choose are that color, I don't know. Especially if I'm looking for like something I'm gonna wear day to day. And it tingles and it's sparkly and I like it. Uh, this is the, for the hair, Kenra Blue Platinum. Dry texture spray in six. Love this. My hairstylist got me onto this. This is probably like the sixth bottle I've been through. I freaking love it. Um, <clears throat> do we need a little brush? Maybe. Wet brush just sent us a bunch of brushes. And um, how cute is this brush? It's adorable. All right. Well, really, they sent the kids things. And I was like, can I have one? <laughs> oh, God. All right. This is probably like day two hair. No, mm, day three. Let's be real here. Uh, just looking for a little bit of texture. Mix 
it looks like, I don't know, gives it a little, a little zhuzh as, isn't that what Jonathan says from Queer Eye? Zhuzh, I like that. Um, so here we are, we're done. Makeup is done. I feel like it's a very nice coverage. It's perfect for me actually, the Estee Lauder Light sufficient. I bought it as like a summer makeup, but I find I'm using it all year round and I've gone through two of those and I have two trips coming up and I'm tempted to just buy another one because I know it works. So that's it. Very simple. I find that this makeup on my eye is to me a heavy daytime look. Um, I normally would just wear mascara and go, but this is like if I want a little something extra and I quite am enjoying this like nice kind of I think this is like a light reddish brown hair color that I'm working with. And this is the back, by the way. Obviously, um, it is, it's not really styled. I just woke up, brushed it, and have now applied texture spray. Um, but that's the look. I hope you enjoyed it. The lips are officially tingling. Can you see the sparkle? Is it doing it justice in this light? I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, um, I have tons more videos. So click the I up here and you're gonna find a bunch of other videos. My personal favorite might be the rant I recently did. And you guys really enjoyed the age gap video, my most recent one, where I talk about the downside, the before you jump into a relationship with someone who's older, but then post video, I feel like a lot of the things I talked about just in terms of relationships are very applicable to like anybody. Age gap, non-age gap, straight, whatever, gay, you know, all of the things. It's just like two people coming together. Relationships are hard. Go watch it. Okay guys, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.